In this video, I'm going to show you how to import weather data from the website web address, which is Visual Crossing, into Excel. So this is the Visual Crossing website. It was founded since 2003, so it has like more than 20 years. I mean, publishing data for free, and some of them you need to pay a little bit. But the Visual Crossing for today tutorial, I'm going to show you in Excel how to import this data from the website to our Excel directly. So for our case, you need to first to log in, I mean, to have a country and weather data, sign up. Then go directly to the weather data here. So you need to enter the location. For my case, I'll put Serengeti. This is the district in Tanzania. You see it as the famous Serengeti National Park. Okay, then you can choose. Is it the history data or the forecast data? For my case, I'll need the history data. Then click search. So by clicking search, so this gives you different visualization. You see it has graphs, beautiful graphs, precipitation, wind increase, and the temperature. So and the, temp and the location at the bottom. You see? So I need, because I need the history data, then I can look at the date range. For instance, I need only for last seven days. So that's it, it will show up like this. So by having this data, then I'll press on download and you can always get an API or share. So I'll go to the download. So by clicking on download, there's a pop-up message that says, design, preview and view weather data for free. You can download the CSV, Excel, JSON file or switch to the API. So I'll close. That means I have my data. So this is the data it has, for instance, temperature 69.378, but this, mind you, it is in Imperial, but you can change this. For instance, this is metric. So changing to metric, that means you have the values which you most, which you feel confident to work with. So just straight, because I want the, I want to download this data. That means I just hit again, download button here, then choose the format here, data format and selection, let's say Excel, then output. Okay, this can put daily, hourly, it's okay. Then you need to finish these boxes by clicking continue. Serengeti last seven days, continue. So it will be checking in finish all this. Run query, so it runs query in the background. So it is submitting, just like that. So let us give it a wait. Then download. So download, you can link, you see, link to your data set. So when you click this, it says the result you read, link copy to the clipboard so open your excel file then go to data then f get data from web here so by pressing this data from web there's a dialog box which appear here yeah so you paste here the link then press ok you can leave it but basic and please press ok So it is it is linking with the website of the visual crossing so say please wait it's calculating yeah so it has you have the weather so you can preview here by clicking this tab here so you can preview then you can load or transform the data so in my case i'll choose to load the data so the data will be loaded in my excel here with some queries and connections so that's it so i have the data here and you can query differently so it's actually like a database where you can do some specific queries so that's it so this is the way of importing your weather data from visual crossing or it can be any other website into your excel from external sources like website thank you a lot